Yeah, hi Bixby. I know uh, Samsung tried to stop us from remapping our button, but this is Android. Clear off. Hello folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets channel. And yes, we're talking about the Bixby button on the Samsung Galaxy 8 once again. It's a physical button that we'd love to remap and use however we want. But Samsung blocked us from doing that with an update they sent out and forced us to use on our Samsung Galaxy S8. But as Jeff Goldblum once said in Jurassic Park, Life uh, finds a way. Android has found a way, a few developers have solved it, so let's take a look at the best solution. So let's very quickly recap the situation we have here. The Galaxy S8 has three physical buttons, the power button, the volume rockers, and this new button here, which is classed as the Bixby button. And what Samsung want you to do with it is press it to launch their own personal assistant, which gives you cards such as weather and news, very similar to Google Now. But obviously a lot of us don't want these personal assistants and we much rather use a button for something else. And now we can, once again, by remapping it. And the best application to use is this one called BX Actions Remap the Bixby button. But what I'm going to do now is install it from scratch and show you exactly how to set it up because it does require one or two permissions. Fortunately, the application will guide you through this. So once you open the application, it will take you through a couple of screens to make sure that you have a permission set up correctly. And it's a simple case of tapping on let's start, accepting the license agreement, then going to next. It should take you to the setup page in order to allow permissions like this. It's on accessibility, scroll down and on BX actions, just tap that button and toggle it on. And so once that's complete, you should be able to return to the application. And once the permissions are set, you should be able to do any of the remapping options that you might want to do. The BX Actions app principally has two functions. First of all, whether you want to actually use the application, so start it and stop it. Once the application is running, then you can go to the remap options. It's defaulted to Google Assistant, but if you tap on there, you can change it to any one of these different options. So in this particular example, I'm going to change it to the flashlight. Once that's done, if you back out, go to the home screen and I'm just going to turn off the lights here. So now when I press the Bixby button, it's going to turn on the torch, which you can just about see at the back there. Now, as you can see, you can assign many functions to this button through this application. One being the power button, in case your original power button broke. Perhaps more useful though is the custom app option, which lists all the applications on your Galaxy S8. So you could assign your favorite application to that button. For example, if I do the BBC News, go to my home screen, press the Bixby button. Now it takes me to the BBC News application. Another useful thing you can do is split up the function depending on whether the phone is unlocked or locked. For example, you could set up your phone to turn on the flashlight when the phone is locked so you never have to unlock it, which is really quite useful. Now already on the App Store there are plenty of Bixby remap application alternatives, but the reason I recommend BX Actions is because it doesn't overlay Bixby first and then go to your shortcuts. Many of the applications currently on the App Store are doing just that. And of time of recording, BX Actions is free. So check it out and if it suits your needs, best start using it. If ever you need a reason to love Android, this is surely it. Whether it's manufacturers, companies, developers are blocking you from doing something you want to do, somebody else will always find a solution and stick it on the App Store. And this is another example. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you did. Subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel for more content just like this, and I'll see you all again soon. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now. Oh, baby, I'm sorry I hurt you. I didn't mean to.